Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. I hope everybody had a great weekend. We're going to start this week off with two interwatch items. First one's going to have two case numbers assigned to it. Case number 17C4940. And also 17C4936. 4940-4936. The first incident occurred at 500 East Pawnee. And the second one occurred in the area of Emporia and Kellogg Drive. All began on the 22nd, yesterday, approximately 8 p.m. On Sunday, January 22nd, approximately 8 p.m., two officers were working off duty, providing extra security at the Walmart in the 500 block of East Pawnee. One of the officers heard a female yelling for assistance. Officers made contact with a 59 year old female who reported that an unknown suspect had taken her purse, which was sitting in her shopping cart while she was shopping. The officers did attempt to stop the suspect who fled on foot and then got into a 2010 tan Chevy Impala and fled in the vehicle. On duty officers quickly responded to assist on the call and observed the suspect vehicle. And upon trying to stop the suspect vehicle, a pursuit uh, occurred until the vehicle was involved in a single car accident in the area of Emporia and Kellogg Drive. The driver, a 28 year old male, was transported to an area hospital where he was admitted in stable condition. The female victim did not receive any injuries. This was great work done by the off duty officers and the on duty officers working together to apprehend the suspect in this crime. The property was recovered and returned to our victim. Correct. Yep. Uh, can you give more advice regarding purses and shopping? Yeah, always, always be aware of your surroundings, especially when you're shopping. A lot of times you'll see individuals that will place a shopping, their purse or something of value in a shopping cart, and then they'll walk away to maybe grab something off a shelf, maybe be on the phone, and not be really aware of their surroundings, and somebody can easily grab their purse and run. So always be aware of your surroundings. If you can keep your purse with you, I would suggest that that's something that you do as well. And uh, or if it's maybe something you could leave in your vehicle, uh, to leave it in your vehicle. But always be aware and be cautious uh, while you're out shopping, and try not to make yourself an easy victim by just leaving your purse and walking away. But always be cognizant of where your purse is and who's around you. So it did take place inside. Yeah, initially the, the incident occurred inside the store and then there was a chase that took place, a pursuit that took place when officers were trying to apprehend the suspect involved. All right, second item I want to talk about is just uh, some enforcement that we've done at Kellogg and Webb Road. Officers continue to monitor the area of Kellogg and Webb Road due to the large amount of construction that's occurring in that area. There's a lot of uh, there's no left turn signs, things of that nature. And there's been continual complaints received of different traffic violations occurring. So on Friday, January 20th, officers monitored this area from approximately 10 p.m. to 12.30 a.m. And during this time, officers were able to write 37 citations and make one arrest for driving under the influence. This was an example of great proactive work by the Wichita Police Department Patrol East officers. The Wichita Police Department is dedicated in working proactively and in partnership with our community to make this city a great place to live, to work, and to play. What type of citation? It was a LIDAR lane, so I believe they're going to be speeding citations. I don't have the breakout of all the citations that were written, uh, but some of them are going to be with a LIDAR lane. They're going to be uh, speeding citations in that area. And then obviously they had the one arrest for driving under the influence of alcohol. I'm, I'm not 100% sure of the speed limit in that exact area. Do you know, Jacob? You it's 40 all the way. 40? 40? Yeah, they get both lanes open. Okay, so right. probably 40. People are still blowing through there. <clears throat> right. There's turnaround areas if you don't want to talk about that. There are turnaround areas uh, if you need to try to turn uh, and you're not able to turn at that intersection. There are turnaround areas located close to the intersection, so please utilize those as you're traveling through that intersection. If you have to turn left, uh, there's no left turn signs. It's clearly marked. Uh, 
The reason we do that is is when there's heavy traffic trying to turn left, it's going to cause a lot of traffic congestion. So to help with traffic flow, our traffic engineering sets uh, the signs up with no left turn. However, they do have the turnaround, so uh, individuals are still able to go. If they're going east, they're still able to go north, just have to utilize that turnaround. Charlie, is it going to be in future assignments like this? Oh, yeah, we'll continue to monitor this intersection. Is that the, because I know we talked about it earlier this month, is that all through January? Is that part of the? What did we talk about earlier this uh, month? The K dot thing. K dot thing. Is that, is that not part of this? No. No, this is just enforcement that Petrolia officers are doing because of the complaints that we've received and the large amount of construction in that area. So we're just trying to monitor the area, make sure everybody stays safe uh, while they're traveling the city streets, especially through a large congested uh, uh, construction area. Anything else? Go back to that first one. Yeah. So when, um, when police provide off-duty security or whatever, are they in full uniform? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they'll be in full uniform. They, uh, when working off-duty assignments, and at that capacity, they are yes. All right, it's a start to a, a full week, so have a good day. And if you need us, don't hesitate to call us. What's the number to call you, Nine one one.